Finally dead. They were so damn annoying. Holy shit, I smell a corpse ready for carving. The way it's three of them? Fucking hell, what a beast! Oh, alien biology. Oh, it's just, it's just fucked. It's just fucked, really? Now let me dig into the last bro. Oh fuck yes, three in one sitting. Each one more visually better than the last. You know what, I don't see this often, but I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter? Armantuous? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you've made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Keep talking, <laughs> shithead. Bounty Hunter, I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. Fuck you. I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Like that was supposed to face us? That went pretty well, dipshit. You're getting good at this. Let's take it home for a well-earned break. I got it. You killed the Skrendel brothers and freed us again. Thank you. Thank you. God, you're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Yeah, I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendalos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendalos. And leave Tweeg alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Tweeg. You're staying. 
tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweak, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Oh, come on. You shouldn't even get to decide. It's my house, too, you know? Fuck all of you. Aw. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how I sad you like this. All of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Yeah, no shit! I'm pathetic! That's my whole deal. I'm homeless and legless and probably riddled with mental illnesses, which I'd know for sure if I didn't think therapy was a fake idea. You don't need to rub it in. I'll rub it in all I want. You're like 80 years old. You can't take a little shit-talking from a teenage girl? Jesus, I'm not 80. I'm 230. And that's really young for my species. I just don't want your creep boyfriend to steal my couch. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Would you slow down for a second? Um, as I was saying... No complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Hell yeah! That's the right call! Twig's a creep! You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to... to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. That's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You want it come or what? Fucking hell yeah, we'll buy some alien cum. Wow, you just went right for it. Didn't even ask any questions. <laughs> Didn't even ask how much it costs. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew I was right about you. I knew you loved alien cum. Well, here, have this alien cum on the house. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Flam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Oof, watch out, that's my elbow. Greetings, valued customer.
make sure you bring that around here once in a while so I can see it again. Thanks for your business. Don't buy anything else. Dad, I think this customer is gonna steal something. Job, don't say stuff like that. Fine, next time I'll just let them rob you blind. I'm sorry, bounty hunter. He doesn't mean it. Thanks. God, I hate giving this stuff up. Customer, would you be interested in some quote unquote You're food? I'm the king of the pranks. Here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlion. Oh shit, another Gatlion! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way, and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right, skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene! Dispatch 146. Yeah, Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. What? Why do you care? 
If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Hey, you look hungry. Hungry for some, uh, deals? Am I right? Oh, Jesus. Why did you, out of nowhere, you just told the stranger that you think he's ugly? Okay, bye! You, bye. over there, come no, over no, here. No, no I've got way. some bye. food bye. for ya. Yeah, that's right. Bye. Food, I said food. Oh, go away. Hey, uh, hey tough guy, we're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. How you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth, according to my sensors. So let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Uh, Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. What the fuck is what is with this crowd? Just open the gate. Hey, I hope you're having a great I don't day, miss no, I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it. I promise. No, come on. Would you stop with the killing for a bit? Oh, look at this. Suddenly everybody wants to get into the dirty old slums. Just because High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new, too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. Let us in! We want to be the first in line to get the new Hyperbond 6! They're all sheeple, you know. A bunch of mindless... Oh, look! Another one walking away when they hear the truth. Hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But, uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so, uh, how about no? Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Holy shit. Wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. That was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention right. Michael Taint. Try my best. Might be a, might be a bad day. Most likely. Hey, what's up, Blurdo? You, you know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Ah, look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Lodge is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. 
Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S-rank interrogation! It wasn't even about the money or the fame. Oh my god, yeah, I, I added in my contract. I don't want to fuck any turtles that don't want to get fucked. Let us in! Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of that funny business. You are allowed to right in, my friend. Yeah, you Okay, so we're looking for this new high on life store. Oh, yeah. Hopefully hey, the slums hey, yeah. are a little more chill now uh, that yeah, we took no out Nine Torg. Like hey, we heard about. you were asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait. Oh, shit! It's you! The bounty hunter's back! Tip to live down here in the sludge, huh?
There it is. High on life. I'm a big hyperbong fan. I love buying hyperbongs. I've got 20 of them. And I'm gonna buy. Hey, don't worry. More. Detectives Trust can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. I need the new hyperbong. You don't understand. This isn't like a consumer loyalty thing. It's more like I'm addicted to drugs. Your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no traveling. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. What, 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 what are you talking about? It's the same mystery from earlier. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. We fucking know. We know. We know this. We know this. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyperbongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I, I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got the manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But you are saying you know him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's so fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detected. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like that poking that beak went belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Look, guys, we've had enough people hassle us today, and we're over it. Can you just fuck off? You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat. But I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We got this covered. Who the hell are those guys? Holy shit. Looks like someone got trampled to death. Turned them into a fruit roll-up. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? Oh! You can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. Yeah, that's fine. You can touch the bag boots. This probably isn't gonna get us into space heaven, but those are good mag boots. Hey, sick man! Oh, those mag
Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. You two again? Don't no worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we're dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim, the Torg failure, what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. <laughs> How about that? How about let's talk to Clug? So, you're gonna step through? Oh, well, thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. What's cracking? Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Absolutely. But we hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Giblets! Oh, I, yeah, I, I see what's happening here. You're pointing us to Dr. Giblets. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. Right, so we can. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. We got this. Oh, nice, nice, nice! Now we can find giblets. Bamboo, you goose. <laughs>